Hi, I'm Miles Parry from Parry Brothers Powlett here at Powlett Plains in Victoria. I farm with my two brothers and my father. We're a broad acreage farm. We farm primarily cereal crops, your wheat, barley, oats, canola, and a few legumes as well. And a few months ago, we purchased this T8 half track and 1290 plus baler. The reason that we chose the 1290 plus New Holland baler and the T8 half track is the New Holland baler, it's a tried and tested product. We've got two small square New Holland balers and we've been very happy with them. And New Holland hay equipment has been on the market for a long time and they've proven themselves, we think, in the hay market. So that's why we chose the New Holland baler. And the half track, the reason we chose that is we needed something that was powerful enough uh, to do deep ripping and a few other jobs that require a lot of power and also effective in getting that power to the ground but which was also smaller than a four wheel drive tractor and that's why we settled on the half track, the T8 half track. The reason that we went with the T8 half track over conventional tyres was we needed something that had less of a footprint on ground compaction and which was also effective in getting the power to the ground and we found tracks are the best solution for both of them. Uh, my favourite features of the T8 half track obviously are the tracks. It surprised all of us how smooth the tractor actually rode once you're in the seat. You do hear stories that tracked tractors are more rough, um, more so than conventional tyres, but in this case it, it isn't the truth. Uh, it is incredibly smooth to ride in, especially over bumps and rivets and wheel tracks. We found it very good in that regard. The T8 handled the baler very well. It's a little bit overkill for the baler as it wasn't bought as primarily a baler tractor. It was bought also to do a lot of deep ripping and other heavy, heavy pulling uh, jobs. Uh, so it does handle the baler very well. The tracks in terms of the rock that you get with balers, the plunger stroke, um, the rock was lessened with the tracks we found uh, compared to conventional tyres. It was actually quite a smooth ride whereas other conventional tyre tractors tend to be quite rough in their operation. In terms of consistency of bale weight and bale length, we're very happy with the New Holland baler. We think it has the best shape on the market in terms of bale. Uh, the bale length, we've done over 10,000 bales in this baler so far, and every single bale has pretty much been exactly the same length. We're very happy with that. And in terms of bale weight, uh, in terms of straw that we're actually doing at the moment, uh, it's anywhere from 500 to 550 every single bale. It's in between that, those sort of margins. So we can't complain about the baler consistency at all. The bale skis have reduced build up dramatically. We have them on both our small square balers and as well as a big square baler. We wouldn't purchase a baler now without um, skis on them. Uh, in Oaten Hay, we've found with, we worked next to another baler and they would do 100 bales to our 300 or 400 before we would have to uh, clean out the gum on the chamber of the baler. So in terms of that, we're doing 300 more than other balers without skis in them. In terms of day-to-day -day maintenance on the baler, there's only really three things we've had to do. That's blow it down, grease it, and then fill it with twine. Everything else, it uh, pretty much looks after itself. It's got an automatic greaser on it, so there's a lot of grease points that we don't have to actually grease. There's only a few main ones that we have to go around to manually. And that's about all we have to do, so it's very quick and very efficient in that, that aspect. In terms of availability of commonly used parts, we've only had a couple of things go wrong with the baler and the tractor, not major issues, but Bellevue and New Holland have been very good. We've been able to get the parts straight away and replace them, and we haven't had any downtime, we haven't lost any time baling or anything like that, so it's been very good in that aspect. Uh, we're very happy with the output of the New Holland baler. It's everything that they promised it would be. Um, it's lived up to all our expectations and we can't complain about that at all. We've found Bellevue very good to deal with. Uh, we're a long time customer, we've been dealing with Bellevue for years. There's a reason that we keep going back. They're very competitive in terms of price and then after sales service is a huge thing for us. Uh, they've always been great in getting out to us when there is an issue and fixing the problem straight away so we don't have any downtime. And that's obviously in this day and age, that's a massive thing with any farmer. The less time you can spend broken down, the better. And thanks to Bellevue, that's, that's rare in our case.